to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, mm -hmm, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you some Christmas DIY Dollar Tree outdoor decor. Whoa, that was a lot. Yes, I like to do some outdoor decor. I've got a series that I've been doing of these garden banners, and today is just that. It is my DIY Christmas garden banner. This, to date, is hands down my favorite banner so far. I can't wait to show you what I've got in store for you for today, for today's garden banner. This is one you are not gonna wanna miss because the outcome turned out so stinking cute, I can hardly stand it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some Christmas Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Yes, because that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on this next new chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to my blog in the description box below where I will be posting a new blog every Friday morning at 8 a.m. This is where I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. Getting started with today's DIY, I will be using Dollar Tree's felt roll. This felt is a bit on the thinner side. It isn't the best quality, but if you double layer it, it works. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over to the size that I want because I'm making a banner. You're gonna choose what size banner you want your banner to be, meaning how long you want it to be. Once you've got the length, you're gonna go ahead and fold it over the top just like so, overlapping the two because this top part here is going to be the pocket in which we place the banner on I guess the garden banner hanger from Dollar Tree, you can get them on Amazon too. So you can see here exactly what I've done. I'm gonna go ahead and use some hot glue because this is a no-sew project, but if you want it to be sewn, you're gonna go ahead and pull out your sewing machine and you're gonna sew it. But hot glue works great and it holds up fine. I'm using a high temperature glue gun, so fear not, it is not going to soften up in the heat, it's not hot out anyway, and come undone. Once I've got that top part glued, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it back over. And again, I'm going to place some hot glue on this bottom part here. And again, this is going to be the pocket here at the top. So you wanna make that pocket big enough to slide that hanger wire through. And we don't wanna leave these sides open, so you're gonna wanna hot glue or sew those closed as well. And you're not gonna go the full length up because remember, the top is the pocket, so you're gonna stop right below that pocket there on both sides. To the top of this felt, I'm gonna be using this burlap. This is actually a burlap runner that you can get at Walmart. It does have this lace on it, but you can see that this lace peels right up. And this is a good quality burlap because it's tightly woven. And I wanna say you can get a roll of this for about three or four dollars, which is a great buy. It was one that I've had in my stash that I've been using in other DIYs, so it's gonna work perfect for this. And so I went ahead, I cut a piece of this burlap just a bit smaller than the felt itself. So the white of the felt is going to outline the burlap. And I'm just gonna hot glue this down onto it. This ribbon here by Crafter Square, it looks a lot like snow. Well, I think it does. And that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna cut two strips just the size of the burlap itself because the ribbon obviously isn't wide enough, so we're gonna make it work because I want it to look like it's snowing. And two pieces is just enough. Side by side, it's gonna work. Hot gluing it down to the burlap itself. This banner, if I haven't told you, is probably my favorite because the outcome turned out amazing. And it was one that I was kind of stumped on. I wasn't feeling super inspired to do until the last minute when it just kind of came together and it came to me. And now look at that. It's probably my favorite banner so far to date. 
to this banner, I will be using these two DIY 3D craft kits. How cute are these? This snowman is adorable. And I will also be using the Santa Claus because it's a Christmas banner. We gotta have Santa. To decorate these or to paint them, I'm gonna be using puffy paint. Of course I am. I love puffy paint this time of year. And so that's what I will be doing. I am not gonna walk through step-by-step step what I do to each of these. I'm just gonna kind of do a time lapse here and just kind of speed up the video and you can watch as I do it and you can follow along if you want as well when you're DIYing your 3D craft kit. Why do I love using puffy paint to DIY these? Just look at this, enough said. I want to say last year when I was doing some of my Christmas DIYs using puffy paint, a few people had told me that once the puffy paint dries, if I kind of ran a heat gun or a blow dryer over it, that it would then puff up. And I don't know if I was misunderstanding it. I had Googled it and tried to do some research on it and I came up dry, wasn't finding anything along that line. And so I went ahead and tried to do some research myself and tried to actually dry the puffy paint with heat, which is something I've always done anyway because I like to pop these in the oven just to get them going and dry a bit quicker so I can move along with my DIY and that didn't do anything. Once it was dry, I went ahead and ran my heat gun over it lightly and I really didn't see a difference and I didn't see that it altered the look of the puffy paint at all. And so if I'm misunderstanding and somebody knows how to do this, leave me a comment in the comments below or link me a video in the comments so I can see because I'm always up for learning new techniques and you all know I love working with puffy paint. So if it does something that I'm not doing with it, I, I wanna know how to do it. Did that make any sense? You all know what I'm talking about. This here was one of those plaque embellishments that I took off of one of Dollar Tree's plaques that I like to keep in my stash because I love the shape of it. And you can see here that they can easily be painted and added to another DIY. And so I thought it would be perfect to add to this banner. And so I'm gonna give it a quick coat of some black chalk paint by Waverly. This banner definitely is in need of some stitching. So I'm gonna add some ivory stitching to it because I feel like it just kind of finishes it off. It adds to it, gives it more personality, more character. And if there's a DIY that I could add stitching to, you know I'm gonna do it. Just like I can add twine to it, I'm gonna add twine to it. And to the banner, I'm gonna add this aluminum word, welcome. I wanna say that this was in the Fall and Harvest three pack. I don't think it was Christmas, but nonetheless, it was in my stash. Gave it a quick coat of some of the ivory paint and I'm gonna hot glue it right here onto the banner. Guess what? It's Cyber Week. So Linda is extending her sale for Cyber Week. You're gonna get 50% off of digital downloads. You're gonna get 25% off of embellishment packs and stickers. 
and 25% off of vinyl decals. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? Yes, in the description box below. My favorite part of every DIY is putting it all together. So I'm gonna start off here at the bottom with the trees and I'm just gonna use some hot glue to adhere this onto my banner. And would you look at how amazing that snow ribbon looks? Tell me it doesn't look like snow. I'm so excited that I found that. You can actually find it in white and blue, but I wanted to stick with white because the blue went to look good on the burlap. And so I couldn't be happier with the way that this turned out. And to think that I had no inspiration for this DIY. And then when it just kind of came to me, it came to me. And did I tell you, this is one of my favorite banners to date that I've done. I found these snowflake ornaments, you know where, at Dollar Tree. They came in, I want to say a four or a six pack, and they had them in the red and black buffalo check and the black and white buffalo check. I picked up a couple packs of each. And to these, I'm just going to go over the snowflake itself with some white puffy paint. It would have looked really cool if I had one that had glitter in it, but I didn't. So I'm gonna work with what I have and just cover up that wood with some of this puffy paint. I wanna say I used four for this banner and I thought that these would be the perfect addition to this. Oh my word, I love this. Let's go take a look at this on the hanger outside. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Dee Page, who's bringing to us her DIY recreation of my Halloween banner. Dee, thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. Have I said that this is my favorite garden banner so far? Oh my word, it totally is. It's amazing to me how you can feel so uninspired when it comes to something. And this garden banner, I just wasn't feeling the inspiration. And the clock was ticking and I knew I needed to get one up. And at the last minute, it all just kind of came together. And when it started coming together, the inspiration started coming to me. And I really got excited about this project. And I'm glad that I did because in the end, hands down, my favorite garden banner to date. This is a series you'll want to stay tuned for because Obviously, we've got more holidays coming up here after the Christmas season that I'm excited to bring you some garden banners for and some non-holiday banners, because why not? We like to switch those things out. Series DIYs are one of my favorite to bring to you. I hope you all enjoyed today's outdoor porch garden banner DIY using items that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, because I am.